are tracking H1N1 tonight, more specifically the vaccine. Lucas County is running into a shortage. Fox Toledo, Sean Hegarty is here live with why the health department finds itself in this situation. Yeah, well, it's a couple different things. First, fewer vaccines are coming to the health department, and now more private doctor's offices are getting some of that supply. It's not a good thing because this doesn't represent that we had a large supply and they're all getting used. This, unfortunately, represents that we've been using all we have. That's good, but we still have a lot more needs to be met, and we don't have enough to meet those needs right now. As Lucas County Health Commissioner David Grossman, the health department was giving out shots today, but at tomorrow's vaccine clinic at the downtown library, only pregnant women and kids six months through 36 months can get them. Some schools have already been promised some of the vaccine, so it's not all being distributed at the health department. So when will the health department see more vaccines? I've made the mistake before of saying we were going to have some more this week and we didn't get near as much as we thought to us, so I think I'd be silly to try to second guess them. Now the injectable vaccine is in short supply, but there is that nasal vaccine. But if you're afraid of the nasal because you're worried about maybe spreading the virus, Dr. Grossman says there have been no reported cases of spreading that virus from the nasal mist here in Lucas County. He says this is good, if not better, than the shot. Now, the health department's loss could be in part your gain. If your doctor has it, call for an appointment as soon as possible to see if you can get some form of the vaccine. It could actually help you avoid some of those long lines that we've seen in the last few weeks at clinics at the health department. Now, to check out the latest vaccine clinics, just go to foxtoledo.com and look for the H1N1 tab. Reporting live, Sean Hegarty, Fox Toledo News, 1st to 10.